Hey, we're back to uh, replace some window sashes. So what I'm seeing is the top window pane uh, is getting some rust in it. As you can see, there's uh, moisture getting between the two panes on the upper sash. So what I'm gonna have to do is take that sash out and replace it with a new one. So Simonton sent me a couple new windows. There they are. Those are just the top sash and we will go ahead and get those replaced. I'll show you how to do that. First thing we're gonna do is take the bottom sash out and then we'll start working on the, uh, the top sash. Okay, so we have the uh, the tops or the bottom sash out, and we have the screen out. And what we're going to do next is go ahead and take the the bad top sash out. So you can see it has these strips all the way around the window. And what you need to do is take them out first, and. Then we'll uh, break the seal of the window from the back side, and then that window should come out towards me. Now, as you can see, I'm uh, I'm up on a on a two-story uh, window, so it's pretty far down there. It's probably easier if you can get to the outside of the window, but uh, we're going to do it all from the inside. All right, so. Best way to do this is we're going to put a, a quarter inch wood chisel right in that crack and then you kind of just twist and this will start popping out of the track and then I'll go ahead and, uh, and pull it the rest of the way out. So you really have to try not to, to damage this piece when you're twisting it. I do have extra pieces. Uh, in case I need them, but you can see how that kind of just twists right out of there. And then you can just kind of grab it and pull it out. And then you're left with, you can see the, the uh, edge of the glass right in here. So once I get all four of those out, that piece of glass will be able to come towards me once I break the seal on the outside. So currently I have three of the trim pieces out across the top and down the side. This one's the trickiest one. You just gotta really take it easy and pry it up. I find it easier to take the, uh, the latch the latch piece off uh, of this to get this piece out. So I'm going to take that bottom piece out now. Okay, so I have all four of the trim pieces out, bottom ones out. You can see how wet it's gotten in here and uh, just really rusted in between the panes. Um, I find it easy to have uh, a couple suction cups that you can suction onto the inside of the window and that'll help once we break the seal on the outside that will help to uh, to pull the window out and and uh, have control of it i also recommend putting some gloves on a little rubber backing to them uh, because the the edges of the glass you know it's pretty sharp and it'll cut you the first window i did i got kind of cut up with that so i'm gonna wear gloves this time uh, so what we're going to do now is break the seal of the window on the back. And basically, we're going to put a, uh, a putty knife and just go like this all the way around the window. And that'll, that'll cut the seal. So what we're going to do is take that putty knife and just push it down in the frame all the way around and that'll break the seal of the window. When that last seal is broke, this window can come towards us. So you need to be careful of that. But 
So we're just going to take this putty knife and go like this all the way around the window until that seal is totally uh, broke. Okay, so I went ahead and used the putty knife to break the seal. Just go like this all the way around the outside of that window. Now, this window should come in towards us. So I put the suction cups on, I'm just gonna kinda work it in towards me. And sometimes you, have, you might have to push from the outside. There it comes. So that's the old pane. We're gonna take that down, um, downstairs and store it away. And then we'll come up and clean this up. Okay, so after the window's out, we're left with a bunch of old, um, you know, just basically padding uh, that was helping to weatherproof it. Uh, we have new, we have a new roll of that, so we need to get all the old foam off and clean it up, clean all of this up, and then we'll put new foam on and some caulk and then we'll put the new window in you can use that chisel you can use a screwdriver i kind of just take a screwdriver and work it like that and this stuff pretty easily comes out it's it almost feels dry rotted sometimes it'll peel right up sometimes it'll break off and you just keep working your way working your way around Okay, so we have it all cleaned up now. It's ready for uh, the new uh, foam strip. Uh, this window I'm taking out as well. So um, I got the four, the four strips taken out. Sometimes this bottom one is very hard to get out and uh, you really have to mar it up to get it out of there. So when they send you the new panes, they send you new ones of these also, uh, these strips. So I'll just put a new one in that they gave me uh, on that bottom one. And then the other three came out pretty easy. I'll just use those. Okay, so both windows are, are cleaned up and I'm starting to put the, uh, the roll of foam back around the edges. So when you're doing this, the top and the bottom row is the one that goes all the way to the edge. So the top and bottom all the way to the edge. And then the sides will come down and hit the, we'll stop here above this. All right, so I'm ready to install the new window. These little black things here are spacers to keep the, the pane, the, the sash up off of the, the frame here. They should sit on this. Uh, so I'm gonna dry fit it first, make sure that uh, it fits well and that I can't see this blue tape around the whole window. Sometimes I found that I might have to put an extra spacer on top of this with these new windows I've been putting in. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, dry fit the first one and see how it looks. Okay, so I did a quick uh, dry test. It looks good as it is. So what we're gonna do is peel the, the uh, blue tape off of the uh, sticky foam. So it'll be sticky on this side as well. Then I'm gonna put some beads of caulk in each corner um, to make sure that the corners are caulked where this foam comes together all four corners, and then we'll uh, slide the window in. All right, so we're ready to put the window in. You can see the blue tape is gone. The uh, caulk is in. Just in the corners is really all you need it. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the window in. All right, so I went ahead and pushed the window in, just kind of Give it a good push all around the edges to get it onto the uh, the, the uh, sticky foam there. Now we're going to go ahead and put those 
trim pieces back in. So we have the top and bottom one in now. So you're gonna do uh, the top and bottom and then the sides. You might need uh, a little uh, non-marring hammer to, uh, to tap them down, especially this bottom one, it's real tight. So get the other two in, we'll be done. Okay, top sash is in, done. I did forget to mention, if you look up in the window, there's a little, looks like a little silver peg in between the two panes of glass. That always goes in the top right corner. So that's how you tell, um, you know, which way the glass goes, if it's inside out or not. So as long as that silver peg is up in the uh, top right corner, you're good. You see over here in the top left corner, there's, there's nothing there. So it's pretty easy to tell. All right, let me get the bottom sash in and we'll be done. Okay, so I put the bottom sash in and uh, I went to slide the window up and it would not go up. And what I found was this shoe, they have a plastic inside. So when you tilt the window in, it locks the shoe in place. And when you unlock it to slide it up, it should unlock it, but the plastic's broke inside. So I'm gonna have to, uh, to replace this. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off, take these off, and I'll just put new springs in uh, this whole window. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a screwdriver in this one and twist it so that we can raise this shoe up to the springs. Two springs are in here. So we're gonna twist it. Uh, when you twist it, it's gonna to try to fly up real fast. So keep pressure down after you twist it. And then just let it go up slowly. All right, now we're gonna take these two screws out and then work it out. Basically, you're gonna work this shoe up into this cutout of the frame right here. Work the shoe up into there put your, your screwdriver under it and tilt it out to come out where that indentation is. And we'll be able to get the springs out the same way. So here you can see the shoe is out now. Um, it's tilted out. So I'm gonna just work it down now and keep popping the, the first spring out and then the second spring and it'll pop right out of there. All right, so the old springs are out. The new springs are going in. You need two springs, a screw, and a cover to uh, to make each one. And then also the shoe that the window sits in. So these uh, new shoes have a metal piece inside. So they should last a little longer. So basically what you have to do with these is you have to get these two end pieces um, in the same alignment because they go down in this one spot in this shoe. So you kind of just slide it around and, and roll that top spring around that bottom spring. Kind of like that. So now they're in the same, both the springs are here. And then we're gonna take the shoe and you, you work the spring into the shoe and twist it. So that it's in the shoe like that. That's how we look now. Then we're going to take the cover and just cover it up. So the springs, one's top, bottom spring here, top spring here. And the springs are tight, so you got to hold them in there. So that's how it looks when it's done. That goes on the inside of the window. This is what you'll see on the outside. This is where the window just sits in. All right, so I'll work that back into the uh, frame the same way we took the old one out. Okay, there it is. Should move freely up and down. And we're gonna screw it into this, this hole here, the old hole. 
so we're gonna work that up. Put it right there and screw it in, and then we'll do the other side. All right, both sides are in now. There's the spring cover. There's the shoe, waiting for the window. There we go. It's in, opens nice and easy. The new springs worked. I'll put the latch on and we'll be done. Okay, the right window's in, done, down and locked. I'll go ahead and do this one the same way. Okay, there we go. Both windows complete. Brand new upper sashes. Another job done.